Okay, so we, we're going to taste the, the next wine will be the... Molandry. Molandry 2009. And um, yeah, this is uh, um, Côte Cas no, Côte Cassillon, Cassillon oui. right? Which is, um, you can see it here on the map, which is uh, southwest of Pomerol. The wine is produced on the top of a hill uh, around, uh, around Castillon and on a clayey limestone terroir. 70% mellow, 30% Cabernet Franc. But My first all... vintage, because I, I just, I, I bought this property in uh, 2009, okay. and 2009 is my first vintage. Okay, so um, when you say property, how, how big is uh, uh, the chateau uh, or the property? 12 hectares. So you are um, had increased a little bit, right? Yeah. So from the color, it's, it looks, yeah, not quite small, a little bit, yeah, more brilliant than, than the yeah. Santé. Mm. Well, let's sniff. Oh, it's more, more open, right? And more complex yeah. also, yeah. and more complex. Yeah. Thanks to the Cabernet Franc. So you say that uh, Cabernet Franc really gives additional spiciness yeah. and aromas, yeah. right? Well, really fruity, mm -hmm. in the sense of not, not a simple fruit, mm -hmm. a complex fruit. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, it's more round, more mm -hmm. how you say, it? more 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 supple, more yeah, yeah. more dense, dense, yeah, more, more tannic wine. I think that Moulin Gris represents exactly uh, what you can expect from a Bordeaux. Yeah. Make you a tannic wine, but not obviously tannic. Yeah, and we have uh, a lot of fruit and. With a lot of complexity. From uh, com when you compare to Saint-Thème from the price level, they are close or they are. Um... No, Molandry is, is more expensive. Well, I think you you get directly the idea yeah. immediately that this is really yes. good wine, dense, yeah, complex. Wow! Just have a taste once again. Amazing, wow. oh. really good compliment. Thank you. Okay, so we are now going to taste 2008 from the... L'Église Cliné. L'Église Cliné. Yeah. And later 2010 from the Barrett, right? Yeah. Okay. A good format for two guys yeah. who, who wants to drink. For a good format for two guys if, if, if someone goes away, right? <laughs> yes. No, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Maybe you can tell something about 2008, the vintage, because it was like, um, it's underrated vintage for you? Yeah, not an underrated, uh, one of the best approachable wine uh, I, um, I made for yeah. uh, more than 10 years now. C can you explain something or the audience a little bit the, the weather condition during 2008 in a mm. short version? Yes, like spring. Two, yeah. 2008 was uh, a cold uh, vintage. Yeah. We, probably we, it was the, the, the latest uh, harvest, harvest right? in, uh, for all my life. Okay. Because we we picked uh, L'Église Cliné in October, and um, what we do like in 2008 is its uh, complexity, yeah. is uh, its uh, flowery uh, components and uh, its uh, freshness. So the color is like uh, we have here. Yeah, it's quite the same like the Saint not the Satame or the uh, Moulandry. So oh. It reminds me a little bit of Burgundy, a little bit from the style. Yeah, no, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but it's got some, some the, the the fruit, some some a hint of meaty aromas, like, mm -hmm. only a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Pepperness, yeah. What do you think? Yes, pepperness. Yeah. Wow. Roasted grain. Yeah. Some violet also. Oh. And it's Quite open. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's quite long. 
very good length. Yeah. This wine lets lets your mouth in your mouth a lot of freshness, a lot of uh, amazing wine. Right? It's like full. The body is full, oh. but it's not like the marmalade one. Okay. It's more like the elegant, um, mm -hmm. trained body. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, tenants are once again really good, really mm -hmm. supple. Acidity is for me it's well balanced mm -hmm. in the fruit. In all my wines, you can find this good balance between alcohol, tannins, and acidity. I always try to respect uh, this, um, this balance because uh, I know that we can taste the wine uh, with journalists, yeah. with uh, wine merchants, but I, um, I also want um, that the people who drink my wine during a, a, um, a lunch yeah. or uh, appreciate it with whatever they, they eat, the wine is... Uh, as good, and um, I, I just produce red table wine. Yeah, so in a high and quality so it's a level. High quality yeah. red, a red table wine, but a wine that you have to, to drink during your meal, yeah. not only to taste. Yeah, compliments. 2008 is for, for difficult, I, I, I think um, for difficult vintage, mm -hmm. um, it shows how skilled a uh, vigneron can be, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think you have to be carrying a lot of um, you know, your grapes during mm -hmm. some this really I, I, what I can say the um, um, your know, hard conditions circumstances yeah. right. Yeah. Fortunately, this is a magnum. You could stay here forever. <laughs> so um, we're going to taste now the 2010, 10. Uh, which is declared as a really good vintage yeah. as 2009. Um, well, it will be my first 2010 yeah. and um, Bordeaux, so I'm yeah, quite excited. 2010 represents um, what, uh, a new balance uh, in, in the wine. What, what, what we was afraid about is that with uh, the global warming, probably we produce every year the same wine. And it's not the case because for uh, um, 2000, I'm very happy to propose 2001, ready to drink now, and like 202, and 203, uh, 204, every year 205, every year yeah. we produce a new wine. Yeah. Uh, and, and really, and I think that uh, for 10 years now, we, uh, we can illustrate how Bordeaux is unique because we produce uh, uh, a vintage wine with uh, uh, a blend of grape varieties and, uh, and we take the risk to edge this wine in barrel. Yeah. And uh, it's why Bordeaux is unique. And one more time in 2010, we, we produce uh, something unique, more tannic than 2009, uh, more freshness than uh, 2005 uh, and uh, the same, quite the same level of more, tan, more tanning also than in, uh, in 2000. With 2010, we, we are very happy mm -hmm. to, to, to make s such tannic wine, but with uh, the, same, the same alcohol degree as in 2009 yeah. and uh, with a better acidity. And uh, so probably we have to. We, we have to drink 209 and 205 before 210. Okay. 210, you have to just forget the bottle in your cellar. Okay. Five years more than 209. Let's do it, right? Yes. Okay. So the 2010 vintage is yes. like you, you told before, it's like a great vintage. Yeah. And uh, we will taste it now. It's nice colored, yeah. it's brilliant, it's purpled. Yeah, this one is really good. And it's also quite open for. Yeah. Will it be more? Because we, we 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 taste it, we we taste it from from the barrel, and from the barrel the the wine it's is always wine. is but always more open also. Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
Silky tenons. Absolutely. Silky. Yeah. Tremendous length. Really. It won't stop. It's still here in my mouth. It's like when you, when you make a little swallow, it's like still there and expanding. All your grandmothers are in the kitchen. Yeah. Making... Many flavors, right? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely great wine. I think this will be also wine, I think it will be kind of legendary wine. I think it will age really good yeah. because of the tannins and the acidity, because yeah. acidity is quite... Um, but the uh, tannins are well integrated. Yeah, yeah, everything. And the, the tannins are just, the, and the, the acidity is, we have just enough to balance this tannin and the alcohol. Wow, very elegant. Mm. Silkiness, great. You, you, you probably drink 2008 before the 2010. Yeah. But we need, we do need such vintage as 2008 um, because uh, 2010 it's impossible to, to discover all the potential all the, of this wine uh, before uh, 10 years. I'm, I'm very happy that you gave me a little yeah, view into your cellar. Thanks for your visit. <laughs> a little view, yeah, of course. I, I'm happy. I have to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. That you something to, to you know, to, to have a kind of idea which person is, stands behind the L'Eglise Climé. And uh, also Saint-Thème and uh, Moulandry, which are really good wines. Uh, really good value wine, not mm. only value wine, really mm. um, kind of, especially the Moulandry. Mm -hmm. I, uh, um, I think we have a really new fan. It's, Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, Cabernet France is uh, doing a really good performance here, yeah. in addition with the Merlot. And uh, well, the Glisse Clenet, outstanding. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the, the show, my clip, and um, well, I don't know where I will be next week, but um, I hope I see you in the next clip. <laughs>